Hey, muy buenas noches to everyone. I hope everybody's doing well, blessed, and enjoying family. And again, Tony, muchas gracias for allowing me to get on your platform, Stories Written by a Current Prisoner, to share my stories. Y de nuevo, muchísimas gracias a todos for giving me that minute or two to hear me out, you know, my the message I'm trying to push and uh, for all you guys' kind words and prayers. Se los agradezco como siempre mucho. Now, for this time, I want to basically touch on, on three different camaradas, right? And what does end up happening once a camarada, he either checks in, they move on him, or, you know, in other cases, he's just out from the picture, period, you know, due to personal problems or XX thing, you know. Now, before I start off, first off, I want to say that, you know, there is a lot of pilis that, uh, <laughs> They're not as careless, you could say that, you know, they do, they do care for, for camaradas and, uh, they try to, to chill them from a lot of things, but when push comes to shove, it's just, but they, it always comes back too, you know, you can't fight an army by yourself. So in their case, they know it's either check in or just follow suit with the rest of their, their brothers, right? But to start off, the first camarada I want to touch on is, uh, is Blackie from San Ho, you know. A while back, you know, he, uh, at first he was representing Silent from SD. And uh, is when uh, he basically gave... One of my younger homies, the keys, you know, or the right to, to use silence name on the streets, right? And, uh, as everybody knows, within time, you know, the Billy ended up passing away due to COVID, you know. And Blackie started, you know, started supporting or helping or, you know, doing his secretary thing for Babo when he was in Solano and things continue to push as as they always have, you know. And there was a lot of a lot of pushback, you know, from the streets. For one, you know, my neighborhood it's never been there, you know. It's always been like we can show our respects, but for you to get out here and say you have the neighborhood, that ain't gonna happen, you know. <laughs> Because uh, you could be representing a Pili, it don't mean you have the keys to the hood, right? But anyways, things ended up getting squared off and the camarada did eventually, you know, at least was representing the hood under Babo's name. But he was answering to Black Blackie. You know, as, as uh, I was aware, uh, Blackie was actually... He was collecting from a lot of neighborhoods up north and uh, eventually hitting, hitting the Pili, so hitting the Pili, right? And as, as a lot of the guys that are, are in the game or were in the game, you guys should be aware, you know, that Pablo had a lot of conflict going on with different Pili's. It was mainly about you know, Babu was a high power Pili, you know, and, uh, he thought he had more seniority than, than others. And, you know, I hear a lot of stories, for example, on, on this type of conflict he had with other Pili's. But, you know, not to say I'm right or then they're wrong, but just everybody look at the timings, you know, look at the timings. There was a story on here where, you know, Alfie Soldado got to Folsom, but Bob was already out. I mean, come on. Alfie was long on before Bob got out. You know what I mean? Just, you know, pay attention. You know, I don't want to, 
I don't want to come on here and basically put my two cents on things because uh, it's not what it's about. You know, it ain't about starting any type of conflict. It's about supporting whoever's pushing, you know, the message, which is to stay away from from gang, you know, mainly prison, you know. But uh, anyway, as you guys were aware, within time, you know, Bobo ended up getting that uh, that passionate release, and you know, when that came, it was it was just about him, you know, it was about me, and uh, he had the three pillies that were backing his play up to the point where get out the days you have on the streets, just worry about you, you know. Whatever you had, we take it care of. And, which, you know, Tablas, Topo, Wizard, they ended up concentrating on, on what was important to them, which was, you know, Florencia. But at the same time, you know, he did not speak up for other people that were representing him, you know, for example, in this case, Blackie. So time went on and, Eventually, you know, it's a, it's a mom amongst them, you know, pilis, you know, carnales, as they call each other. It was basically, you're a good soldado, but that don't mean nothing. You were helping out this high power carnal that was calling me out my shit in public. Excuse my language. So now I'm going to politic against you for it. It's how it always goes, you know. If it's not over money, drugs, it's about pride, you know. And I'm better than you, that's it. So time came and they ended up moving on Blackie, you know. But you could say he was a smart one, you know. He ended up getting hit and uh, he just said, Charles, you know, I ain't going to go through this twice. And he did what he had to do, you know. Now his route, I couldn't really tell you, you know, if he debriefed, if they're still doing, I don't know. I don't know none of that, but all I know is they ended up hitting him. And uh, the people that want, that were answering to Blackie for Bobble, you know, eventually got put on that list over nothing. Just because they were showing their respects to where they thought it was an organization. It wasn't an individual human being, you know. But amongst them, that's how they move. At least it's, it's convenient for them, right? But at all times, man, sureños, camaradas, you know, they're not a factor in their movement, you know. They're throwaways. They show that time and time again. As this was the case, you know, at least from... My county, or the county I grew up in, I know eight individuals that, the Pili that actually politic against Blackie, ended up putting them on the hat, you know, over nothing, over them doing, quote unquote, the right thing, you know, if that is six among Sureños and Pili's, you know, but anyways, the second camarada I wanted to talk about is the camarada, you know, Sporty from 18th Street. I believe he was from, from Northside 18 or, or something like that, you know, up in the Valle. Anyways, you know, I, I was with the homie locked up, you know, into Ashby Shoe for, for not too long, you know, but after that is, uh, he was doing his thing, you know. And, but he was a little older homie, you know, at the time I was, I wasn't too old, you know, the homie had me at least by 10 years, and uh, but everything I used to hear about the camarada, he was, he was solid, you know, he was a good homie, you know, he had that same style that, well, at least in my head, it was the right thing to be doing, you know, which was just, uh, you know, get to a spot and put yourself in this position and don't allow yourself to get caught up in them politics, you know, which it's impossible in, in reality, you know, because uh, 
You could be on the yard supporting, you know, bump heads with whoever, you know. You're going to land another place and there's going to be tail dragging you with you from this other yard, you know, which it eventually will get clear up. This type of thing usually does get clear up, but by that, you know, while they're apples and oranges, you're going to go through some headaches, you know. But anyways, the homie... The homie got thrown out the worst way that I can think of, you know, like I stated, he was helping out, you know, not only on the streets, you know, touching base with Huero Caballo, his other homeboys up in the feds, and he was trying to do the correct thing, you know what I mean? But, you know, like I stated, he was older, and uh, for some reason, he came back to the shoe, you know. There was other pilis, you know, that they didn't really sit well with Guero Caballo because they felt Guero Caballo was always supporting Popeye and, uh, you know, Guero Sherm and XX, you know, those type of things. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of pilis that have a lot of anger against Puppy, you know, for different reasons, which is a thing for a different topic, right? But, uh, Anyways, you know, sporty in the shoe, you know, we're like little kids, you know, you you could say that, you know, I remember when I caught cancer, man, I, I used to, I used to do, I used to finish up with reps of 200 of push-ups, but they weren't per se push-ups, you know, I used to do my th routine bag and I used to finish with 200 sets of, of just pumps, you know. I used to do nine and then the tenth all the way up and then back down to nine pumps and one up. Nine pumps and I used to do 200 like that, you know. And uh, I remember I was in my last sit and when I did that all the way up, I felt literally from behind my ear all the way down to my neck like if they grabbed that muscle and they ripped it. You know, and I felt, but I knew... I knew the rules and regulations that were established, so I knew I had to buck up, you know. For one, I couldn't tell the the, the huda, you know, hey, acá ya, you know, I uh, I need to go to medical, and you, know? you know, before I put that slip in, it, I had to, like a little kid again, ask a Billy for permission to do so, right? But you know, those that have done time will tell you, you know. You don't want to expose your hand like, you know, weakness, weakness, because everybody's after everybody. And everybody's waiting for somebody to show weakness. It's just part of the game inside, you know, all that carnalismo, homie. Yeah, in front of you, they'll be like, he, he, ha, ha, I love you, homie. But, you know, everybody's trying to step on the next man and trying to prove that they could actually politic to climb up, you know. It's just all that carnalismo, loyalty stuff. It's just, it's not there no more. It hasn't been there, you know, at least when I was there, you know. But anyways, homeboy had some, uh, some important health issues, you know. And, uh, you know, for his seniority, whatever, you know, for what he was doing or has been doing, uh, he felt he could put that medical sleep without informing, and, uh, you know, they came, put the handcuffs on him, and he walked out to medical, and, you know, he overseen, you know, the pillies that, that weren't very happy with the people he was supporting, you know, the other pillies, again, the so-called carnales, right? So, you know, again, Homeboy's knocked out to medical. He he didn't bring back proof. Why he was out there in medical, he didn't even try to send a kite explaining why he went out there. They didn't ask to go out there. So, in their eyes, he went out there to talk to squad. Oh, this was dropping a dime, right? And uh, I know for a fact that uh, Sporty, within time, he, he got real sick, man. 
Uh, but that didn't stop the Peelies, you know. They, uh, they ended up having to move, you know. They ended up spearing him in the shoe. And the worst part is, you know, I don't know how many years he was supporting his, his so-called homeboys turning into Peelies. But when uh, the report hit them and... Uh, Hey, he's supposed to be real sick, you know. He did this and that. We went and go ahead and uh, moved on them, cussed of this, this and that. He didn't try to explain himself. His own homeboys, the ones he was helping out, eventually said, you know best, you know. Do what you're going to do. So there's the loyalty that, you know, young, young Batos and the Kayers are itching to go look for in prison. Again, it don't exist. You know, stop believing those those fairy tales, you know, that you have to go to prison and earn your stripes or get to know really what the program's about. On carnalismo, on love, on raza, unity. It just ain't there, you know. It's, it's a doggy dog world, especially now, you know, that I hear those extra things where, you know, they're not even respecting family no more. Besides you doing what you have to do in there, you can't even have that that one day per week of leaving all this behind and going out there, seeing a loved one and, you know, distracting your mind from it because that's going to be used against you and your family. I mean, just sit and analyze that for a hot second. But anyways, you know, homeboy uh, never locked it up, you know, sporty. Like I said, he was sick. He eventually ended up passing away in, in Corcoran Shoe. And, but, you know, he passed away in bad standings just because he got sick and somebody wasn't in agreement with the PLC was actually answering to or touching base with when it came to money and dope. It's just got what? It's just where, uh, it's just where the glory of Sasurenos at, you know? It only matters what you can bring to the Mesa and who you bring it to. All that extra, I'm a killer, I'm gonna hoop bang it. <laughs> Man, you're not going to get anywhere by that, you know. Now, the third one is is just fairly recent. You know, this just happened like a month. And it happened with a camarade called Pato, you know, from Petaluma. It's about 15 minutes away from my hometown, Santa Rosa, you know. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of homies out there, you know, you got a big neighborhood. But, you know, homeboy, uh, or most of everybody from Petas, they were, you know, they were under Mosca. Mosca was out there tough, you know, they were answering up to him, sending feria to him, you know. As you guys know, Mosca pissed off a lot of pillies, you know, and uh, in this, I can't really disagree with them, you know. I know they're scandalous ways, I know they're greedy, but, you know, uh, Mosca was just one of them dirty pillies, you know. He, he felt he was above not only camaradas, but above his own brothers, you know. But, you know, this camarada, he was a new Folsom, you know. He was already doing things for another Pili, you know. And Mosca had been already gone for a minute. And But, you know, along the line, he, uh, you know, Tortuga from, from Colton, he didn't like the fact that, uh, well, in his head, you know, I don't know if it was just that he felt they weren't answering up the way they were to Mosca, you know, 
that jealousy, envy starts coming in, you know. He got at home when and gave him an ultimatum, you know. Hey, this, this, and that. And, you know, the about the dope and the money coming in. And it went from, you know, them selling just his dope, or getting it from him. And it was no longer 500 bucks a month. It was... I believe he went up to a thousand five hundred a month because he knew they were making more moves than they were actually reporting, which I don't know if it's true. The point of the matter is that, you know, LP's a big neighborhood and he wanted to prove his point. You know, the home he had all day, he just, uh, didn't have no snitch jacket on him. You know, all this and that, but to prove his point, he had to hit someone that was a, that was going to be talked about on the street. So he went to go ahead and hit homeboy, you know, they didn't and clip him or anything, but he did hit him and had him go PC and just to prove a point. That's how valuable our gente is, you know. And this is just reason. You guys can investigate, you know, and uh, just look it up in Folsom, you know. You guys will know exactly who it is I'm talking about. But I just thought uh, I would come in and share with you guys on how when a Billy falls or he leaves his soldados behind because of anything, you know, could be death. Or like Mosca, he, uh, he got removed. Or jealousy, you know. Envy. And, you know, the envy ends up coming out, which is, uh, they can't let go of the fact that you were helping out another member, his carnal, more than him. Well, at least with. That's the, how the head starts analyzing or thinking of things to where it's easier to just clip him and move, remove him. So again, my message is to everyone, uh, you know, love yourself, man. Stay away from all of it. There ain't nothing in prison. There ain't nothing in that life period. You know, you're going to Go through headaches, suffering, wasting, waste your life for, for something that at the end of the day, you piss someone wrong off and don't matter what you do, it's going to shoo you and throw you out like nothing. But again, I just wanted to touch in with you guys and extend my love. Please stay true to yourself and loyal to your loved ones. God bless you. Buenas noches.